Charlie Cocker is going to tag team slight. Well, think about it. Jake Kager, no MJF. <laughs> tag team slut, tag team slut, tag team slut. Yo, Jericho's a city boy, guys. Jericho's a city boy making his rounds around town. Chris Jericho over here. Chris Jericho. <laughs> Chris Jericho, but the C is silent. I love the way you make me feel. I love it. I love it. I love the way you make me feel. Anybody remember that 2012 classic with the late great Mac Miller and Ariana Grande? What the fuck? <laughs> Yo. Yo, my man Lily just got fucking kidnapped in the background and nobody even saw this shit. That's fucking horrible. <laughs> that's fucking horrible, bro. Now they looking for him. <laughs> My man got kidnapped. That's fucking horrible. Also, shout out to Johnny Organa with the Wolverine gear, bro. I see you. Or is that Wizard World? I don't know. One of the two. It's going to be a low-key banger and you're going to miss it. Yeah, I'm going to bang my head on my damn pillow. That's what's going to happen. Come on, bro. At least give them two minutes before you go to sleep. I will give this match none of my time because it is evil and Sonata. So... The match has started. Timer for 20 minutes. It's on the clock. Like I said, guys, send a super chat, I'll wake up. Other than that, I'm going to sleep. You did a table spot. You did a spot off the goddamn forklift. You had the golf cart spot, but you got a spear through a titan tron, but the end was a guillotine choke. Like, that's like, really? A guillotine choke? After all that, a guillotine choke? Boo! Bend her over. Bend her over. Be Did I really just chant that? Hopefully Drew McIntyre interferes and like he, you know, boots Goldberg in the head the same way Goldberg booted Bret Hart in the, in the head all them years ago. Just just end Goldberg's career. Well, that was that was brutal. Why did I say that? Nobody clipped that. Nobody clipped that. That's my number. Eight, seven, six, five. Come on, somebody good. Somebody good. Three, two, one. Somebody good. Somebody good. Isaiah Swerve Scott, he had, when he came into NXT, he had this really, really, really killer theme song. It was very laid back. It was so awesome. Then, like, a few months later, they gave him this new theme song. It was trash. Garbage. His second NXT theme song is definitely my least favorite theme song. My least favorite theme song is the one I heard Tyler just sing. Wow. The disrespect. One thing I hate is the King Bird. You hate dead white guys? You hate dead white guys? How do you hate dead white guys? I love dead white guys. And do you see Roman Reigns bringing the World Heavyweight Championship back? I don't see that happening. I think fans are just... I think fans right now are just uh, rose-colored glasses just imagining Roman Reigns bringing it. Why would Roman Reigns bring it back? That makes no sense. I think if anyone will bring it back, it would be Edge. Edge will bring it back. And I don't think Edge is bringing it back. I'd be shocked if Edge brought it back. But I think fans just want the belt to come back so badly. And and I don't understand why either. Like, the aesthetic of the belt is great. But, like, changing the belt is not going to change the booking. The booking is still going to be fucking garbage. Having a different, having an old belt in there is not going to change the fact that this company has bigger issues than the fact that the Universal Championship is blue. I'm sorry. That's just a sad fact.
Yo, what's going on guys? What is up? What is up? What is up? It is your boy Tyler Mask, aka Tyler Coon Williams, aka Tyler Suplex, aka Suplex, as it says right below me. It's S O O P L E X on TikTok, aka the one who lived. And guys, welcome back to another Wednesday Night War stream. I keep on saying Wednesday Night War stream as if I still live stream NXT. Or, you know, I don't do that shit anymore. But uh, yo, what's going on, guys? We got Mason Rollison and Cool Beans Entertainment in the chat. That shirt is awesome. Thank you, man. I've been really trying to reinvigorate my uh, wardrobe lately. Like last week, I had that uh, other dope shirt you guys really like. Now we got the uh, Galaxy shirts. These button ups. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. They're pretty spicy. Everybody likes them. So, you know. Bit of an ego boost for me. Hey Tyler, I'm just curious. How would you say that the juniors and NJPW are treated are being treated wrong? They got the seven main event at the dome, and the day you posted your NJPW video, Despy faced Abushi. I say that they're treated wrong because they are normally let's let's take account that there are periods of time where they are treated right. I'm not saying that they're like always put in the dirt. They're always treated like garbage. There are periods of time where they are, you know, given their limelight to shine. Like you just said, at Wrestle Kingdom this year, they actually were in the summer main event spot. Uh, yeah, I don't think it was the co- Was it the co main event or summer main event? You know what? They may have actually been the- I think Ishimori and Takahashi might have actually been the co main event of that show. But they were in a co-main event there. Despy just faced Ibushi. Now, the thing I remember about Despy versus Ibushi is that that isn't just a this year thing. That's an every year thing with New Japan where the junior heavyweight champion faces off against the world heavyweight champion. That's that's an annual thing. That's not really a, a new concept or anything. But outside of what they did this year, New Japan normally puts the juniors off to the side. They're treated as the... Lowest common denominator behind the tag championships, the IC, and the never championship. Because a never championship sometimes treat on the same wavelength as the juniors, but never really to that magnitude. Now, the one time I can honestly say they actually treated the juniors like they would the heavyweight. And the easiest way to point that out is that the heavyweights are always, always treated better. They always get the main events. They always get the uh, top feuds. When you talk about... Multi-man tag matches in New Japan. How many times is it always the heavyweights having the main story in line and the juniors are there to take the pin? That's normally how these matches go. So that's also one thing. You take into account a lot more things like the heavyweights are always main eventing. The juniors are usually beneath the card. Unless it's like Hiromu. And Hiromu might be at the top of the card. But he's never really main eventing the shows. Outside of like, you know, New Beginning in Hiroshima this year where Hiromu and Show main evented. And then they got their 30-minute match for no reason. But, um, yeah, man, I, 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 I go more in-depth about it. But, like I said, there are some periods of time where the juniors are treated right. But more often than not, they're, they're definitely treated like second-class citizens to the heavyweight division. And a lot of the times, I think the junior heavyweights are more entertaining than the heavyweight guys. So you would think that they would get... And WWE did this for the longest time with the cruiserweights. So... I'm not going to sit here and say New Japan is the only company in the world that does this. But, you know. When I watch them, it's clear. Very clear to me. Crazy watching Dynamite in a different time zone for the first time. Where are you at now? I feel like when Hiromu comes back, there will be a shift in the way the juniors. And we see juniors and heavyweights. See, buddy? That's what you would like to think. But I'll take you back to 2020. When New Japan Pro Wrestling was put in a situation where they did not have all the heavyweights, then what did they have to do? They had to resort to using the junior heavyweights. We saw junior heavyweights versus heavyweights in the New Japan Cup, which was awesome. And we even got Hiromu contending for the heavyweight IC championship while he was a junior heavyweight champion. So for like a solid like three months, New Japan was doing right by the junior heavyweight division, but... As soon as you got Jay White and Kenta and Juice Robinson and all those guys back, guess what? No juniors in the G1 Climax. Nope. Nope. No juniors facing off against heavyweights again. Nope. Mm -mm. No, sir. That was it. <laughs> that was it. That was literally done. Diddly done. <sighs> so I would like to think that when Hiromu comes back, they'll start treating them on the same wavelength. But Hiromu ain't. Hiromu's not the bridge. 
the bridge was Will Ospreay. And Will Ospreay left them high and dry. He lied to them. <laughs> I'm back, back, back. Prince Walker, what's going on, man? Nice to see you back in the chat. I'm on Mountain Time. It used to be EST. You're on Mountain Time. What you doing out in, uh, in Central America? What you doing in the Central U.S.? Or up north, I should say. North Central U.S.? Something like that. I'm giving up on NJPW for a while. I canceled my subscription, and I'm watching Stardom. Hey, listen, all the power to you, Juggernaut0907. I gave up on New Japan. I, I keep on saying I gave up on New Japan because that's the title of my video. I took a break from New Japan. Like, I will be watching the Core Genesis this Sunday. Uh, don't know if I'm live streaming uh, this Sunday. Not too sure. Depends on what time it's going to be happening. If it's super, super early in the morning, probably not. Let's see. Let's go to NJPW World and see what time it's coming on. <coughs> 4 a.m.? I don't know. I don't know. 4 a.m.? I don't know. Maybe if I catch the main event, because the main event might end up happening, like, around 6 o'clock or something. 6.30, whatever. Do you think Hiromu was healthy? If Hiromu was healthy, he would have gotten the domain event. Not... <laughs> Oh, if he was healthy? Well, he was healthy for Wrestle Kingdom this year. So, no. Mm -mm, not a chance. Hiromu is the ace of the juniors. Don't get me wrong. I love Hiromu. You guys know I love Hiromu. He's like my favorite. He's one of my favorite wrestlers in New Japan. But Hiromu is that. A junior heavyweight. Ooh, y'all hear that voice crack. Hiromu is that. A junior heavyweight wrestler. And as long as he has that title of junior in front of the rest of his title... He will never, ever, ever main event one of those big shows. He just won't. And, and I don't want it to be that way. I really do want to see junior heavyweights get the same opportunities these heavyweights do. Because I feel like they put on the same quality, if not sometimes even better matches than the heavyweights. But because they're lighter, they just don't. And I think it's stupid. We have to negate these guys to how much they weigh. And that determines where your place on the card is. I'll watch the show for free then. Main ways to watch it free, bro. So, can do 12 a.m. or 5 a.m., but not 3 or 4. See, I don't do 12 a.m. because the thing about doing a New Japan show at 12 a.m. is that I have to stay up for the 12 a.m. show. And then I got to stay awake all the way until it ends. And then by the time I go to sleep, it's like 3 in the morning. It's like not like 3, 4. And it's like then I'm getting literally no sleep. My thing is before these New Japan shows, I like to get at least a little bit of sleep. In like, just a little bit of sleep. And then wake up for the New Japan show. It's going to fuck me up if I stay awake and then go to sleep and then have to go to work. Like that, that's going to mess my groove up. I'm used to getting like 3, 4, 2 hours of sleep and then going to do it in the stream. Anything else? I don't know if my body can take it. My body might reject it. My biggest fear has happened already where I, where I, my alarm didn't wake me up or I slept through it. <laughs> it happened before. I can't recall what show it was for. I think it was for one of the G1 Climax shows. And I, and I woke up like in the middle of the show. I think it was, you know what? It was during the A Block Finals. It was during the A Block Finals that I remember how to set my alarm. No, what it was is that I set my alarm... But my phone ran out of space, and because, for some dumbass reason, when my phone runs out of space, it just won't do anything. And because it ran out of space, the alarm wouldn't work. So, it was set for like 3 a.m., alarm never went off. My body clock, I have a nice body clock. Body clock went off like two hours into the show, and then I woke up for like the coming event. But actually, I just got a new phone. Look at this, look at this bad boy. Look at this bad boy. Look at this bad boy. I just got the um, the uh, Galaxy S20 uh, 21 5G Ultra. I got this two days ago. It's my first Samsung phone. Because this phone right here, this is my old phone, was the, um, what's it called? The LG V40. And then we got, look at the size comparison. Oh, damn. Look at this. this phone's like so much, so much beefier, bro. That, and this thing has, like, fuck, look at how many cameras this thing has. Look at that. Look at that. It has three fucking cameras. It's a phenomenal phone. Phenomenal phone. I wish I had more time to play on it. Tyler Little, what's up, man? What's up? How do you wake up? I ask myself the same question sometimes. I don't know how I wake up. I don't know how to do this. Oh, I know. I know because I have a, I have a love and a passion for what I do. That is why I wake up. 
Otherwise, there would be no doubt in my mind I would probably still be sleeping. Which is why New Japan's happening now and I'm still sleeping. Like, I, I have a passion for content creating. I don't have a passion for New Japan at the moment. So, all right. That being said, let's go take our ass over to TNT and get ready for the, the, the Dynamite. Because Dynamite's about to start in, like, literally one minute. Uno momento. Uno momento. Renee Ruff, what's going on, man? Nice to see you back in the chat. Nice to see you back here. What's your profile picture? Who's that as your profile picture? From afar, it looks like Tully Blanchard, but I don't think that's Tully. I don't get the sense your profile picture is Tully Blanchard. I don't get that sense from you. I put the shirt on, I'm already getting hot, so I'm about to take it off. <laughs> I'm already getting hot, so I'm about to take this shirt off. But I might have to change my shirt because this Hangman Page shirt is too big for me. I bought a medium being greedy and not waiting for a small to come back in and it's like super big on me look at this look at this it's i, I feel fat wearing this fucking Heyman page shirt but we gonna rock it today we gonna rock it today because why not let's head over to our normal stream overlay here we are we are already here and you guys know what time it is it's time for dynamite baby since the empire is facing lij is there any chance adrande is the mystery man i've been seeing that float around i I don't get the sense that Adrande is going to swerve everybody and be a part of the United Empire. Adrande is like a top star in any company you want to put him in. I've, if I'm New Japan, I'm pushing Adrande as soon as he comes into the company. You know what I mean? Adrande about to be main event in these fucking shows, boy. And if Adrande joins United Empire, I guarantee you, Will Ospreay is still going to be the top guy in the United Empire. It's not going to be shifted over to Adrande. It's still going to be Will Ospreay. And they're, oh, we start off with Kristen Cage. Never mind. Yo, we started off with Christian Cage. Bam, bam, Starting off with some Evanescence. Uh, it's my favorite version of any Christian theme song. Is the Impact Christian Cage theme song, man. It's crazy to see Christian Cage out here. Man is literally wrestling on AEW Dynamite. I like his tights. His first singles match in seven years. <laughs> man still can't see after 20 years of wrestling. Incredible. Have you watched the video where... Woo! Where Will was drunk in front of the arena that him versus Code will be held and as he talks about how he held WA and Everett booed. It was really good. I haven't seen it. I have not seen that video. If it's a late if it's like one of the like one of his latest videos, send it to the uh, exchange in our Discord. I'm so glad he has his TNA theme song. I am too, man. Literally his best his best theme song was the TNA one. I've been thinking about doing a top five Christian theme songs, but I don't know if anyone's going to watch it. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's going to watch it, so I haven't done it. I'll watch it, but I don't know if you guys are going to watch it. But y'all, Christian Cage and Frankie Kazarian had a match at Final Resolution 2007, ladder match. Never seen it. Never seen it. I probably should have seen it before this match started. Just for reference. Christian looks like he's in pretty good shape for... What is Christian? Like 47? I think 47, 48? He's in pretty good shape. Now let's just see if he's going to outwork everyone on the roster. Let's see if he still looks 48 in the ring. You know what I mean? He, he don't physically look 47, but... Did the bell ring? Or am I just deaf? I think the bell must have rang and I'm just deaf. Start with the Colin Elbow. <laughs> All on the ropes. You know, I would have I would have preferred to see Sting and not Sting. I would have preferred to see Christian face off against a younger talent, but hey. You wanna do a little bit of TNA history, he left some fear for us. I don't mind it. I could see team T team AEW versus Team Impact in a lockdown match. It could happen. It could happen. I mean 
I feel like when's the last time Impact did a lockdown match? Like, do they still do the lockdown like concept? Like, I know they still do lockdown pay per view, but do they still do the concept of lockdown? Do they still do those those type of matches? I mean, if they do, that'd be awesome. But who would you have on Team AEW? Kazarian and Christian staring each other down. And there's the stupid you still got a chance. Yeah, there we go. Never lost it. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody's chanting never lost it. Like, you still got it implies that you think that he lost it at some point. Ten years ago was the last lockdown. Yeah, I didn't think they had a lockdown match in like a long ass time. So, I don't know if they're going to bring it back just for that occasion. Kaz is great is a great option for Christian's first match. Getting a lot of technical map-based wrestling in here. Map-based combat, which I have not done a show for in a hot minute. You know, it's it's uh, it's actually kind of exciting for me because um, I just got full-time my job about like you know a few weeks ago. So I've been trying to uh, like basically schedule my life now because you know when you work full time you don't you don't have as much time to do a lot of things that I like to do. So I actually got to time my day out and how I can get these things to work. The thing about you know I'm working forty hours a week is that some of the stuff that I usually like to do that takes a lot of my time I can't really I don't really have the time for that right now. Like, Map Ace Combat is a project that I've been doing for so long, and I love doing it, and it's so much fun, but it's like, dude, I really don't have the time for it right now. I really don't have the time for it right now. But then I see WW2K22, and I'm like, ooh, think about all the matches I can make, think about all the fucking uh, new moves we're getting. Because that's always my mindset when there's a new WW2K coming out. It's like, damn, what new moves are coming out that I can incorporate for my roster? Because if you guys don't know, I fucking love 2K games. Not 2K20, though. I never played 2K20 for obvious reasons. But all the wrestling games, love them. I used to always make my own roster, make my own little universe mode and show. You guys can watch it on the channel, by the way. It's called Map Based Combat. Before Map Based Combat Prodigy, before Prodigy AWC, it literally ran for like six years. Crazy. It's weird seeing Impact titles in an NJPW ring. Oh, yeah, yeah. You almost forgot to mention. Um, Juice Robinson and David Finley, they had their Impact Wrestling Tag Team Championships in the New Japan Cup. Never defended them, of course, but, you know, physically viewable on NJPW World, which is, you know, still crazy to me. Definitely a slower paced match. Not going to be balls to the wall, given who's in the ring right now. Tornado DDT. Oh, holding on. Oh, he let go. All right. Oh, pushing Christian right off the top rope. Crashing and burning right onto the apron. He is trying to kill Christian. Christian will survive. Plus, he needs to take the mups. Wake him up. Plus, that bump was even that bad. He even take a lot. He, he like he fell more than he uh, caught the apron. Kazarian welcoming Christian to get back into the ring. Oh, respect. Giving him time. I stay correct. Oh, wait, no, Christian. Oh. Okay. Leg job guillotine. Foot. Uh, all right. That was weird. Uh, next week, I'm doing a speech on the Golden Lovers in front of my class. I got all my slides done. Bro, I told you this last week. Send it my way. Send it my way. I, I will watch it. I will watch it. Or record yourself when you're doing the speech. And then send it my way. Also, are you doing this, like, are you in school? Like, are you actually physically in the class, or are you doing this, like, online? Because I know some schools are open, some schools are not. I'm really into this match, and it just started. No, 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 it's a nice technical wrestling match. It's nothing too crazy, but it's a nice wrestling match to start off the show with. Cody ruined the IWGP title. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think the uh, U.S. Championship really just hasn't been... Oh! My man Christian got he out like a light. I saw my peripheral vision. That man just went slumped. It's over, ref. Call for it. Call for it. Christian tapping. Oh, 
My man almost went down to a goddamn neck hole, Christian. What's going on? I'll link it on Twitter, and yeah, I'm going to be at school because New Zealand has no COVID. We get to chill. Oh, yeah. New Zealand's way better than us. Oh! Neckbreaker. Me and my friend watch WWE. We are in the same class. Dude, I always love being in class with people who actually watch wrestling. It's very rare to find them, but... Being able to talk to people like, yo, did you see this? What and this is why I love my job. I... Like, I, my manager's a wrestling fan, and, like, uh, one of my coworkers is a wrestling fan. So, every time I come in, like, tomorrow, I'll go into work, and, like, my manager will literally stop me. Like, I, I could be fucking talking to another customer, or I could be, like, doing something, having to go somewhere. And then, like, did you catch Dynamite last night? I'm like, of course I fucking did. And then we'll just start fucking talking for, like, two, three minutes. And I'm just like, um, I gotta... Get back to my job. But hey, we can talk about this later. <laughs> we can talk about this later. Uh, my friend's favorite wrestler is The Undertaker. The Undertaker. Boom. His neck tattoo ruined the... T <laughs> well, the, uh, well, I mean, Cody held the IWGP US title like, way before he actually got the tattoo. So, can't really say that. That's the real excuse. A lot of other things are an excuse, but not, not the title. This is just a classic old school wrestling match. Christian's doing a lot of selling in here too. I mean, if the story is that Christian's all washed up, <laughs> then this is a great story. Otherwise, Christian will look very strong in this match. Christian looks like he's barely gonna win this match. Maybe this is a story they're telling. Christian's washed up. Don't gotta know more. I mean, if Christian loses this match, that might be very telling. What do you What do you guys think about that? Telling the story about Christian possibly being washed up. And then, like, going over a series of weeks where he loses until, like, he actually gets the win. Tyler, I already know you can't wait for the season premiere of Roads to the Top. I am not. You already know this. Chad already knows, though. We're getting uh, YouTube memberships very soon. And when we do get YouTube memberships, the top tiers... Whoever subscribes to our top tier, which are already set, by the way. Whoever subscribes to our top tier, they will join me for a member-exclusive premiere live reaction to Roads to the Top. I'm not excited for them, but I'm sure they are when it happens. Also, Muslim and Malcolm, I saw you on uh, Parts Fun Known earlier today. I saw you on there, Victoria, and all those other guys. I saw all those other guys. Oh, my God. I'm terrible. <laughs> all those other guys. But, uh, yeah, man, I saw you on there. Making big money moves. Happy for you, man. Oh, yeah. You also uh, interviewed Alex Hammerstone. Didn't he just wrestle like Mil Mortis a few like weeks ago or so? Christian's starting to make a comeback now. Finally woke up. You already know me, man. <laughs> exactly. Tyler King Kong versus Godzilla came out today. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Don't spoil it, though. Don't spoil it, though. I've been... uh. I've been very, very, very much trying to avoid spoilers online. Me and my, uh, me and my parents are gonna watch it this week, and I'm very excited. But uh, yeah, we got, we got some new guys in the chat. Well, I can't say new, y'all, y'all returning from the chat. We got Major Tom three three one and High Voltage Nova. High Voltage Nova being our Super Chat World Champion, reigning for nearly like what six months now. You've been the champion, bro. No one's coming to take your title yet. Been a very cozy champion, I should say. Hammerstone faces him in Moritz on the 14th. Okay, so we, we got some more time before that match happens. But I'm actually might tune in for that match. Uh, I've been wanting to interview Hammerstone for years, man. Well, I'm happy you got to. Next, you'll be interviewing uh, Cody. You'll be asking him why he buries his talent. Um, yeah, I rented a private movie theater for it Saturday night at 7.40. You rented a movie theater. What's up, Alex Holly? You rented a movie theater. How much did that cost you? Because I know in some places... Running a private theater is, like, really fucking expensive. So how much did that cost you? Is it just you or are you having, like, family, friends? Chris is trying for the kill switch. Kill switch. $200. Woo. Kind of steep. How many people you got going with you? Because I know you didn't pay $200 for just you. Jacob Fatu is the... Yeah, Jacob Fatu is definitely one of the highlights of um, MLW when I watch it. Him and Leo Rush. Loretto Kid works for a bunch of companies. He's getting that money. Yeah, Loretto Kid's getting out there, man. 
I haven't heard his name since he wrestled Kenny Omega last year, so good for the kid. Christian top rope. Frog splash. Owen for a dive, a miss. Bro, this is like as old school as old school gets. Just me and one friend. You, you, it's just you and a friend? You pay $200 for you and a friend? Huh, well, you know, to each their own. Uh, if I interview... I would see if you can invite more people, man. Like, you and a friend, too. That's $100 per person, bro. You better get... I, I'd say get more out of it and invite some people. Fucking, I don't know. Put a, put a feeler out. Like, yo, $10. Let's watch Kong... Or... or knock it down. $5. Come by to my theater. Theater A12. Let's watch this fucking... And then you can make a dollar off of that. Shit. Alright, now this match is going a little bit longer than these two. But Christian still got it. I know that much. Jacob was in a match on a pay-per-view yesterday. If you can be interview one wrestler, who would it be? If I can interview one wrestler, who would it be? <sighs> See, I'm not much of an interviewer. But if I could, if I could pick someone's brain... If I could pick someone's brain, whose brain would I pick? That's a really good question. I want to interview somebody who doesn't get interviewed very often. I don't know who that would be, though. Who would I want to interview? I don't know. I think about that one. I have to think about that one. Tyler would interview Okada. I, I have nothing to say to him. Um, <laughs> I, have no I have nothing to say to him. Nothing to say to him. I'm going to interview uh, Kota Bushi to ask him what was his... Du nah, I ain't going to interview him because I already know what his excuse is. John Cena. I can interview John Cena in Day of the Week. You just want to interview him. Wait, one! Two! Inside Cradle. Okay. This match does not make Christian look good. Uh, that's the thing. Like, oh, if the story is that Christian is washed up, hasn't wrestled enough, so we, like, if that's the story, cool, but, like... Oh, that was a close near fall. But, like, if Christian wins this match, I'm gonna be hella confused. Because this dude literally looked... He literally was on defense the entire time. Also, this match does not need to be like 15 minutes. <laughs> this, this match is going the extra mile just to go the extra mile. Uh, Tyler, go back, read my comment. You cut off right when you started reading it. If I interview Cody, I have to mention Kokata at one point. Yes, you do got to mention Kokata. And, he'll be, and if Cody knows what, what you meant, then I'll be at very telling. It'll be very telling if he knows who Kokata is. He'll laugh at you. Uh... You're going to watch Hana Kimura show. Kagetsu is going to have her last match on there. Can't wait. For when is the Hana Kimura show? Is that in May? I think that might be in May. But yeah, definitely watch it. I'm fine with this. I mean, I, like I said, I don't hate the match. I just feel like the way it's heading, I would rather Christian lose. I would just be very confused if Christian ends up winning this match after struggling so damn much. I mean, Kazarian out there putting on the match of his life, but... Oh, wait. Hold on. What are they doing? What? Fuck Capacitor. One. Two. Oh! Another close kick out from Christian. They just hit a top rope Spanish fly, bro. All right. All right. You know, he would have got the pin if he didn't take, like, four seconds to be like... He would have won this match. Crush your weight! <clears throat> Going for the kill switch? He better not hit it, man. Outside the ring? Go for the guillotine drop? One more time. Oh, Missed it! This match is slow paced. Yes. Oh, I mean, yeah, I could have told you that like 10 minutes ago, bro. Top rope. Low far. Fox Blast. There we go. One, two. Kick out. AEW thinks they have to have 20 minute matches for it to be considered good enough. I mean, that's any company, man. I would interview Momo and see what is going on with her booking. Hey, I said in the podcast earlier, Dumomo is practically a jobber now, the way she's been losing all these damn matches. Tyler, what did you think of Satanic Lil Nas video? I love it. I love Montero. Great song. Great day. 
I was on TikTok about it. You guys should go, go to my TikTok. Uh, S-O-O-P-L-E-X. Kill switch again? Alright, bro. Like, soon. This match, this match can end soon. Oh, Rofer. I wonder if Christian's going to use the spear in this match or not. Kill switch. Kill switch. One, two, Christian gets the win. <sighs> the match overstayed its welcome. And I want to say it was good, but I feel like it was too long. The match did not need to be seven. That match was practically, I think, 17 minutes late. and not need to be a long match. And I beat up. But like I said, overall, life aside, good match. Good match. I would have personally just had Christian not sell as much. I mean, not sell, but, like, you know, not take that much damage. Because, like, I felt like, yeah, he was gassed a lot of times because he'd been out. But, like, if that were the case, I think he should have just lost. Here's Sting and Darby again. You're talking about Christian? It's their sting. Let's talk about Matt Hardy. Ooh. Are we getting Darby Allen versus Matt Hardy soon? Hold on, guys. I want to listen to this promo real quick. I'll, listen. I'll get your comments in a second. Hey, I just saw a uh, like a young buck buck fall. Like that wasn't real cash. That was the that was the young bucks like fake dollar bills. They weren't slick. So you guys ready for this feud? Looks like we're getting a feud between Darby and Matt Hardy for the TNT Championship. Why does? Darby want to face Matt Hardy? I don't know, but, you know. Wait, that's the main event? Arcade Anarchy's the main... Okay, I guess. Kenny Omega and the Good Brothers versus the Lucha Brothers and Laredo Kid later tonight. John Moxie versus Cesar Bonani. Bononi? Is it Bonani? Bononi? The MJF's gift to the pinnacle. It's going to be him wrapped in a present watch. Sheeta and Conti versus the Bunny and Nyla Rose later tonight. So what's up next? Oh, Cody versus QT. All right, maybe I'll just uh, wait the comment section. All right, anyways, I'm going to watch NXT real quick. Just to, just want to stop by and say I'm the champion. Still goodbye, everybody. Have a good, have a blessed day. Have a good day, High Volts and Double. Thank you for coming through, man. Uh, personally, she is not letting anyone into Kareen's quest. I mean, she already a job, bro. Why would you want more people to make you look like a job? Um. Christian is one of my all-time favorites, but I guess he looks gassed at times. Well, to be fair, he hasn't wrestled in a long time. Outside of the Rumble, of course. Do you think Lil Nas' message was, if I'm gay and have to go to hell, I'm okay with it? How did you... Well, that was that was, that was was the message. I mean, he, he blatantly said that was the message. In, like, interviews I've seen and his interpret... That, that's literally the message. Now, one thing I feel like people might have missed in a Lil Nas X video is that it was really the telling, the storytelling, his way of storytelling, but it was a telling of Adam and Eve. Like how in the very beginning you had the guy and the girl and they were by the tree and then the snake came along and the snake turned into the human. He was kissing the girl and then that's when he went... Like, it was a... It was literally... For all my Christians, Catholics, religious people, that was literally just the retelling of Adam and Eve. And I got that after watching the video the second time. But, no, I, lo I love the music video. I love the music video. It was cool. I still bang out to the song today. Um, Christian Cates is a long way to go to the title if he keeps wrestling like this. I understood the story they were telling in the match, but I just felt like if they wanted to make the story like an actual storyline for Christian, I would have just personally had him lose. But that's me. That's me. Uh, Alex, he's not gay. He said it was a joke for the last year's April. No, he's he's gay. He's said this like many times. That's who he is. Um, Arcade Anarchy's the main event. Yeah, I'm not too excited about that. This was taped right last the uh, St. Patrick's Day massacre. 
show. That was taped. I don't think this is taped, though. Uh, St. Patrick's Day Massacre. No, St. Patrick's Day Slam. Uh, Sheeta and Conti. Yeah, Sheeta and Conti. That should be a good tag match, hopefully. Yurt, what's up, Book of Rickland 92? His gift is going to be what? Himself. Mash, bona, mash, bona, mash, mash, bona, bona, bona. What does that mean? Uh, do you think Yo is going to turn heel at Sakura Genesis? I've heard that float around a lot that Yo is going to be uh, the one to turn and, you know, be with Wall Spray. Considering he's already, like, literally on the mats in that show, I don't get the sense it's going to be Yo. I still think it's going to be either Carl Fredericks or Shota Unimo because they've been gone for a long time. But we shall see. We shall see. I guess in a positive light of the song, he made people more aware of God and Satan and the Bible, but he definitely not for kids anymore. Yeah, parents should monitor what their kids are watching. Definitely should monitor that. I think uh, I think he is a very smart marketer because he knows just how to get under people's skin, and he's been doing that ever since the video dropped. Ever since the video dropped, he's been getting underneath of people's skin. So, good for him. I mean, you know, arguably you would say that's not the way to go about it, but you know. It brings in the views. We got Jade Cargo cutting a promo. I saw that you were shook. You she said she shook. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, Jay Cargo, I mean, that's... I, st I still wouldn't fuck with Jade, man. I feel like she might beat my ass. Damn, that bitch. Mm -hmm. Jade can't cut her promo. What are you talking about, bro? I mean, I don't think her promo is the best that I've ever seen, but no, she could definitely cut a promo. If Lil Nas makes a Jesus song and a Jesus shoe after this, I'm totally on board. He's a troll. I mean, he's been a troll since day one, but yeah, that'd be really funny. Uh, I used to cut the lights off when Cody came out, but now I realize it's a lot of work. I'm not doing it anymore. Uh, you still got the uh, Snoop Dogg version of your theme song, Cody? Let's see. Let's see. Still got the Snoop Dogg version of the song. Tisk tisk. We got Dustin Rhodes. And we got all, uh, Billy Gunn. Billy Gunn looks massive, man. Every day. Why are you watching this slightly above subpar program? Oh, you missed America's Most Wanted reuniting. Well, why you're watching it, I meant. I have no idea what you meant by the last part. Slightly above subpar? I mean, because I enjoy Dynamite. <laughs> I'll be afraid to piss Jay Cargill off. Hello, yeah. I get the sense she beat my ass if she wanted to. Damn, Tyler, Lil Nas really changed you. You're not even turning the lights off anymore. LOL. Yeah, I... <clears throat> turning off the lights are a lot of work, bro. I literally have to get up. Turn up. Like, it's, it's a lot of work. If I had a button, like, click, and lights going off, that'd be so much easier. You guys excited for Cody versus QT Marshall? I wonder who's going to win that match. Hmm. Whoa, he didn't do the... He didn't do the... Cody... Oh, wait, how does he do it? The American... Uh, he just said Cody Rhodes. That was very depressing. So we got all the Nightmare family out there to watch Cody vs. QT. <laughs> uh, not gonna lie, guys. I kind of want to turn on NXT. I don't really care about this match. Or the Nightmare family in general. What's going on in NXT? Is anybody watching NXT right now? Let me know what's going on. Because if something more interesting is going over there, I might switch. It's the last time I'll get to switch. Next week... Is NXT's last week on Wednesday? This is the last time I get the switch. So whoever's watching NXT, let me know what's going on. Diamond's been lackluster for the last three weeks. If they think I ain't switching to focus on Takeover, they tripping. 
Yeah, turning off the lights is too much work sometimes, I feel you. Who is Carl? Carl Fredericks. He's a young lion, well, former young lion in New Japan. He's actually uh, one of the core guys, or was the core guy in JPW Strong. Tyler Breeze versus Santos Escobar? I don't know if that's... Mm, well, I like Tyler Breeze. He was, my, he was like one of my favorites at NXT in like early days of NXT. Santos Escobar is really good. Mm, let's do a switch. Let's do a switch. Let's see what's going on in NXT real quick. Because I don't really care about this on Dynamite. Alright. Now we're checking out NXT slightly. For a little bit. For a little bit. Is this still Prince Pretty NX? I mean, uh, Tyler Breeze? I mean, I know he cut his hair like uh, a while ago or whatnot. <clears throat> So what's the streaming schedule for WrestleMania week look like? Uh, it's looking pretty blank right now because I'm. <laughs> if you haven't listened to the Puchiopo podcast, I'm gonna be on vacation during WrestleMania weekend. <laughs> I'm gonna be in uh, Tampa, Miami, and Orlando during WrestleMania weekend. So I will likely not be live for any of the WrestleMania show. Now I may candidly go live randomly. During WrestleMania, if I'm, like, not doing anything. But, like, as of, like, right now, the schedule for WrestleMania weekend is completely blank. <laughs> it is completely blank. Like, WrestleMania, like, in general, I'm just not even excited about. Not even excited about it. Did you decide if you're going to Tampa yet? Chills Bill Podcast, episode 40. Literally, in the very beginning of the podcast, I'll talk about it. In the very beginning of the podcast. Well, not the very beginning, because the intro is, in the be is the beginning. Are you going to Mania? No. And my explanation is going to be in the Chill Spill podcast. Everyone, go listen to the latest episode of the Chill Spill podcast. It's literally the last video before this one. Good episode. Like, the first five minutes explains it all. Why I'm not going. Why I'm not attending WrestleMania. Why I'm vacationing during WrestleMania weekend while I'm not streaming. It will literally explain it all. Oh, commercial. Queen of the South. That's been on for a hot minute. Damn, the series premiere. That's the final season right there. Alright, well, now NXT's on commercial break, so let's hop over to uh, TNT. Let's hop over to TNT since they're on commercial break right now. Uh, Dynamite. They're on picture and picture, so they're not much better. I live in Florida. We may have to link. What part of Florida do you live in? What city? Because I'm going to be in three different cities. And if you're nearby, why the hell not? If you're nearby, why the hell not, bro? Hey, is that, uh, it's Mr. T. Yeah, Mr. T starting to age, too. I pay you the fool. Yeah. WrestleMania main event right there. I almost said Booker T. Hopefully you go to WrestleMania in Cali in two years. I'll be there. I would have went to WrestleMania if it was in Cali this year, but it's not, so... Actually, I stand corrected. If WrestleMania was in Cali this year, I probably went to California and just not went to WrestleMania. I'm by Daytona. Where's Daytona? <laughs> I'm not from Florida, man. I don't know where Daytona is. Uh, where do you think Adrande is going? I have no idea where he's going. I know where I want him to go. New Japan or AEW. But I have no idea where he is going. Love you. Airbnb. Where are all these personalized infomercials? You live in California, that's where my brother lives. <sighs> I wish I lived in California, bro. All the sun over there. All the goddamn places to go. Nah, I live in Delaware. I live on the way other side of the world. I live in Delaware. Boring ass Delaware. I plan to go out to California in September, though. Mr. T is old as hell. Yeah, Mr. T is definitely up there now. Adrande back with Naito would be gold. Yeah, I don't I don't get the sense that Adrande is going to be a part of the United Empire. Just the fuck. Mm. 
I wouldn't because then he's got to be... He's got to play his background player to Will Ospreay. All right, we're back for commercial break. Cody and QT are still going at it. Oh, the belt's come off. The belt has come off. Yeah, Cody's still working with, like, this injured shoulder. Why not just take time off? Why not just take time off? Oh, yeah, isn't Cody, like, saying he wasn't going to, like, hurt QT or, like, you know, give him the satisfaction or whatever? I won't do the crossroads. Goddamn. It's fucking with him. Guys, I saw the match because I have a different time zone. Oh, damn. Woo! QT slapped him. Charlotte commercial on TNT is kind of ironic. Charlotte Flair was on TNT? Damn, QT missed the body splash. I'm thinking about getting a vaccine by the end of the year. Do you live in Claymont? That I think that's where Joe is from. I live I live relatively close to Claymont, but not directly in Claymont, no. Mm. Do y'all care about this? I don't know. I don't really care much about it. I live in Cali. Everybody drop the city you live in. State, city, whatever the case may be. Drop where you live. Drop where you rep. QT just punched on Anderson in the face. Is that it? QT clock code, you know, QT just clocked Arn. I, uh, why though? Well, the why is is where it's really like confusing me here. I don't understand why this is happening. Also, why should I care? Oh wait, hold on. Certain guys from the uh, Nightmare Family are uh, attacking the rest of the Nightmare Family. Uh oh, QT's turning around slowly. Hey, is that the Anthony Agogo guy? Isn't that the guy they, like, were training to be a wrestler? Wasn't he, like, a boxer or something? They got another faction? I mean, I guess because they got rid of the Elite, they have room for another faction, I guess. But I feel like there's a lot of factions in AEW. You have the Inner Circle, the Pinnacle, now QT's faction, the Nightmare. There's, like, four factions. Jurassic Express, like, it's a lot. Lee Johnson, oh, oh, pop him onto the ramp from inside the ring. That dude, what's going on, man? Welcome back to the chat. Let's see you in the chat in a minute. Sacramento, we got some Cali, we got some Cali boys in the chat. New York, North Carolina, Alabama. Nightmare Civil War. Now he's beating out Arn Anderson even more. Ah. Oh, what, what is Nick Mondo doing? He's got the steel steps. God damn. That's a that's a big dude. That's a big that's a big dude. Dustin, of course, Dustin's bleeding. Of course, Dustin's bleeding. It wouldn't be a road family turn or match if somebody wasn't bleeding. Like, Dustin, Dustin literally bled for no reason. What is QT doing? Rubber Dustin's blood on his shirt. Okay, that's a nice touch. Pile driver? Pile driver onto the steel steps. Mr. Bailey? Well, I think they broke up, right? Cody's next. Everybody hates Cody. What 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 is he doing? Is he trying to button his? He's trying to button his shirt for a second. He he can't even do it. Woo! Right hand right to the gut. What did I miss? Well, some of the uh, Nightmare Family has turned on Cody and the rest of the Nightmare Family, and it looks like QT is aligned with Aaron Solo, Nick Mondo, and Anthony Agogo. Are they going to take Cody out of the picture? 
Cody, Cody literally just placed his shoulder on the steel steps. He literally just went like this. Concerto! It's Red Velvet! Did Red Velvet just replace Brandy? Like, why is she saving Cody? Yo, QT hit her. Hit her. Hit her. You won't. You won't. You won't. Of course you won't. Bitch. I don't know, man. Replace one black one with another to be Cody's wife, I guess. I know Brandy's pregnant at all, but... <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I really don't care. I really don't care. Real talk. Red Velvet looking like a snack. No, she looks. She Red Velvet's always looking good, but I'm just like, I know, man. Like, I know Brandy not there, but yeah, the son of the black woman out there could have sent somebody else. Nah. Uh, this is me. Uh, so wait until after everything else happened. Acts like it was horrible. <laughs> I guess. I guess Cody getting his shoulder bashed in was too much for her. Didn't have to come out any time earlier when it was happening. But that was too much. No, can't take out Cody. Uh, real talk, Red Velvet was looking like a snack. Yes, she was. Toxic Tyler. No, it is not. Mortal Kombat, bro. I it still befuddles my mind. We're getting a Mortal Kombat movie April 16th. I can't wait. I can't wait for Mortal Kombat movie. I'm so excited for that movie. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm going out to see it in theaters. Me and my me and my uh, friend are going to see it. Even though like <laughs> we literally could just watch it HBO Max. Dog, do you see that WWE split up the Hurt Business? Vince needs the guy. I I heard. I saw. I don't know. I don't know why they split the Hurt Business. I. I really don't know. I mean, they seem, it seemed like they worked as a faction. They seemed like they had, like, a really good, like, you know, thing going. I, But this is WWE State, and they love splitting factions. The only faction that is the exception to being split up is the New Day. They're, that's literally the only faction that's the exception. Every other faction, they're going to be split up at some point. Even the Shield split up at some point. So. Sad. It really is. And then I saw the he got paired up with Baron Court. Like, why would you, of, of all people, to pair up Bobby Lassie with, they picked Baron Corbin. Like, I get us to get heat, but, like, is this what we, this is how low we're stooping? Baron Corbin to get heat? I guess they want him to get booed really badly. At least the females save the males this time, lol. Corbin, that's what I that's what I heard and I saw on the YouTube. I'm an Anna J simp, rightfully so. Cody needs to go away for a while. I've been saying that for the last uh, what, a year and a half, uh, almost a year now. <laughs> I've been saying that for like the longest time. Everybody's on board with me now. Wes Wes Briscoe is a lucky man with Red Velvet. Wes Briscoe is that like. One of the Briscoe brothers' sons or something? I haven't heard the name Wes Briscoe before. Change the channel heat. Yeah, Baron Corbin absolutely changed the channel heat. I, whenever Baron Corbin's wrestling, I, I instantly almost like... The, the care level just goes down. I don't want to say I make an appointment to avoid his matches, but like... I, I, I just can't. With WWE, it just feels like they form factions with intentions of splitting them up and have wrestlers turn heel with the intention to turn them fa You You said it, like, right down the middle. That's how it goes. We got Ethan Page here. What's he talking about? We got Scorpio Sky, too? Are they going to start teaming up? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, I can I can vibe with that tag team of Scorpio Sky and Ethan Page. And I like that they're actually plugging Dark Elevation. It's making Dark Elevation feel important. Something they don't do with Dark. Something they don't do with Dark for some reason. This match 
didn't make me care about QT Marshall. I didn't care about him to begin with, so. I agree with you. You know, I, 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 I could care less about QT and his little faction. I mean, the guys in his faction I care about. I just don't care about QT himself. QT might drag down the faction for all I know. Jade. Yep. As soon as you, as soon as I read your message, there's Jade. God damn. What she beat her down for? She even do anything. She literally beat up Red Velvet because she existed. Badass, bro. Badass. Dark Elevation is really nice, but Paul and Tony don't have their commentary down. Give it more time. It's only been three weeks. Hey, they got Moxley, too. Also, what do you feel about Osprey hitting B with an Oz cutter? I think it made no sense, but a lot of people were overreacting, in my opinion. It's like it's their first time watching wrestling. I gave my thoughts on it in a video on this channel. Go watch the video. I have to do this because I have to give some little direction to other videos, man. Cliff Note version wasn't a fan of it. I do think that there was a lot of overreaction to it, but it didn't add anything to make me hate Wolf for more. It just seemed very unnecessary and stupid. Fella. Yeah, except he lost even Page last week. Can't be that threatening. Mm. Yep, here we are. John Muxoli versus Cesar Barnone. As I take a bite of my uh, protein bar. Yeah, he just kicked the. He just kicked something. Muxley. No. Yeah. I thought homies tight said Negro for a second. I was like, yo, what the fuck? But <laughs> no, no. Oh, God. It's like the one time Bailey shirt that says I'm a hugger on it was scrunched up. People thought it. What does Nego even mean? Is it slang for something? Bro, I wonder when people thought he as he said Negro on his tights. What does Nego mean? I gotta look this up now. Is it like some city? You guys hear me now? Nego is uh is Serbian for him. It's a it's a Brazilian. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, so I'm literally looking this up. I'm literally looking this up on Urban Dictionary. Oh my God, this is the definition. So I feel like I must, I might be somewhat right. I feel like I'm somewhat right here. This is literally the definition I got. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on, nobody better even report me for this or get this demo. Look, this is the definition of Nego. I'm not going to say it, but that's the definition. It's a Brazilian, I'm going to say it. It's a Brazilian slang for nigga, but we, but we use it either with black or white people. We use it to talk about a third person. Frequently used indirect. So, I mean... He might as well just wrote Negro in his fucking tights at that point. But, you know, leave off the R because he's on television. I get it. I get it. But still. I feel some type of way reading that now. I feel, <laughs> I 
feel about this now? <laughs> what do I do with this information? Do we cancel Cesar Bonini now? Do we cancel him? <laughs> Let me stop. Because that, that's that's what people do. That's what people do. They're like, hmm, should I cancel him now? Because I know what this means. Like, Cesar, I go on Twitter, like, Cesar Bonini says N-word indirectly on TV. It's time to cancel AEW, guys. They had a nice run. Hmm. As I eat my Nego chocolate bar. <laughs> let me stop. Let me stop. Mm. Someone needs to treat this like Tony Khan. No. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna leave it alone. Now, next week, if he has another Nego on his tights, boots, knee pads, I don't care. If I see it again, then we're gonna need to address it. <laughs> now we're gonna need to address it. But I'm going to let it slide this week because he thought nobody was going to catch him. I caught him dead ass. Caught his ass in 4K. Mm. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. <laughs> oh, my God. Is there, like, another definition for Nego? Is that it? Well, I mean, it's Urban Dictionary, so, like, mm -mm. Acronyms. What's the acronym for Nego? I mean, it literally sounds like Negro, so, I mean, how do you, how, how? Is nobody talking about this on Twitter? Let me check Twitter. Who, is anybody talking about this, or am I the only person? Am I the, am I the only person freaking out over this? Hold on. Let's look up Nego on Twitter and see if anybody says anything. Let's go to the latest. I see a few people who say Nigo. I mean, a lot of these, a lot of this is in Spanish. Are there any Spanish or Brazilian speakers in the chat that could translate what Nigo means? Someone. <laughs> <sighs> Somebody said, "Why does Cesar Bonini have Nigo in his trunks?" Hold on, hold on. This is this is classic. I like this. That's how I'm feeling right now. Yes. That is how I am feeling right now after I just saw that. Hold on. I had to stop the match because this was gold. I'm vibing with this guy. That's how I'm feeling right now. That's how I'm feeling right now. Black Panther, Kente hat and all. That's how I'm feeling. Don't tweet it. <laughs> nah, I'm not going to tweet it. Is he referring to himself or someone? I'm, I'm assuming he's referring to himself. Because he didn't call John Moxley one, so that's a good thing. I don't know. It's really it, it's really bothering me now. I'm not offended, but it's bothering me. <laughs> I just translated it. W what did you translate? Like, when I when I search up Nigo on Twitter, I mean, on, on Google, the first result is Brazilian translation to him. Are we going to start calling him Nigo Bonini? I don't know, man. I don't know. What I do know is that uh, he had a match against him on page last week, and there was no uh, Nigo on his tights that I knew of. Mm. Use Portuguese to English translator and type Nigo. Bro, didn't you just do it? Just tell me what Nigo means. All right, hold on. Portuguese. Translator. All right, I got. I went to a website. We're going to translate it real quick. French, no. Go to Portuguese. All right, Nigo. Denial. It derives from the word nigar to mean deny, to refuse, to withhold. I don't I don't get the sense that's what he means. I'm gonna go with the first definition that I find. I'm gonna go with the first definition that I find because I don't think this definition that I saw is really uh really makes much sense. 
Why does it look like um, Dolph Ziggler's brother's pants ripped? Oh, that's because of his uh, thingy thing. Wait, is Baroni about to get this dub? Is he about to get this dub over John Moxley? Pompeo? Oh, wait, up! Oh! Crossface! Oh, we were a naked sleeper. This is Bononi's second, like, straight diamond match against, like, two big guys. Damn, he went to the ground. He dropped. It's over. It makes the sling part make sense. Moxie won like I expected. I didn't expect Moxie to lose ever. You know what? We're going to have to reenact the uh, LeVar Ball, Lamar Ball segment from Monday Night Raw. We're going to have to be like, beat that Nico's ass! <laughs> oh, man. No one's going to get it, though. They're going to assume that I'm racist. I'm already transphobic. Now I'm racist, too. Team Taz. Oh, I forgot. There are factions. There's so many damn factions in AW now to keep track of. Uh oh, why Brian Cage look like uh, like he's thinking about something? I would just like to let everyone know I had a great time last night at dark. I thought it was great. I felt like the old Team Taz was back. Yeah. But I know things have happened in the past, and I can forgive. According to Google Translate, Nigo in Portuguese translates to the hard E R N word in English. Hmm. You want to hear what? Does it? Mm. Everybody got to do the research on what Nego means now. Oh, you're right. That is a translation in Portuguese. We'll give him the benefit of doubt since he's Brazilian, though. Oh, what's the gift of the pinnacle? Hook looks like he resells Supreme. Hook looks like he's about to sell, like, some real nasty to somebody on a street corner at his high school. In the back corner somewhere. Bro, WTF. I know. I I I, I don't know. I, I don't. I really am trying to figure out like what does what does Nanigo mean? Up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got inner circle waiting in the bathroom. Jake Hager outside. Damn. Damn. It's about to go down. Bro, it's been like two weeks and Inner Circle already beating them down. You hate to see it. Where the hood, where the hood, where the hood at? Where the hood, where the hood, where the hood at? Mm, not them slapping each other's backs while they're fighting. Oh boy. How did this get past everybody when they saw his tights? Because everybody doesn't know what Nego means. Yeah, it wasn't until I lo I literally only looked it up because I thought it said Negro. Then I looked up, I'm like, oh, okay. Damn, just close Sean Spears into the door. Well, there goes Sean Spears' career. So this is the uh. Wait, wait, oh, we're up. Oh, slam through a um. What kind of table is that? Some type of table. Basically, all the pinnacles getting laid out here. I'm about to tweet at Cesar Bonini. Like, hey, what is... Damn, Cash really got not to ice bath. Hey, at Cesar. Do you mind telling us what Nigo means?
Where's the uh, where's the uh, question? There it is. Boom. I'm gonna tweet at him and see what he replies with. Yeah, we got Jericho and MJF. Bro, yeah, it's a pretty good brawl. The inner circle versus the pinnacle double or nothing. What if it's another uh, stadium stampede match? He's about to put his face in the toilet. Ah, he's dunking his face in the toilet. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Ew, got it all in his mouth and shit. He said a flush of toilet on him. The worst is yet to come. Ah, he just did the Shawn Michaels, Chris Jericho thing. Ah, oh, I just marked out so hard. I just marked out so hard. For the worst is yet to come. That was such a throwback. That was such a throwback. Ah. Oh man, I love that. I love that. That was nice. That was nice. I thought it was a little soon though. It was a little soon for this beatdown. But hey. Yeah, yeah. Take him back to the locker room. Take him back to the locker room. They're already, week one, they're already good baby faces. Week one, I already like it. Up next, Kenny Omega and the Good Brothers versus the Lucha Bros and Loretto Kid. Ah, oh, man. Young Bucks on the mic. Here we go. What do you guys this week? Keel or baby faces? Let's see. That locker room brawl was amazing. Yeah, I like the locker room brawl a lot. Don Callis. So now this is Don Callis and Matt Jackson. Oh boy. Just hear me out. So I got something I need to say to you. Man to man. I love Kenny Omega. He's my family. I thought mm -hmm. you loved Kenny Omega too. You talk about him being your best friend. You know what you did last week? Hey, Jericho. You broke his heart. Yeah, Jericho. That's that's like the dude right there. Outside of all the politics he gets into, and all that shit. He chose you. Well, Matt Jackson hasn't actually spoken yet, so... Hey, Jericho! Yes, I remember he said that. How could I forget? How could I forget? You know, the gaslighting, you hate to see it. He's a manipulator. He'll be canceled on YouTube in a hot second for this. Slap cap just slapped him in the face. Here comes Kenny around the corner. Oh, Matt's a little bitch. He ain't even gonna do shit. Yeah. Why is he staring at his dick? Is that what he really wants? Yeah, he is pretty sick. Very sick. He said, well, Montero. Maybe he figured himself out. But anyway, we're getting ready for our six-man tag team match. After that commercial break. And after my own commercial break, because I'm about to take me a quick bathroom break. So, guys, I'll be right. 69 me. Yeah, maybe Matt Jackson's into that, too. Maybe that's why he... I mean, Matt Jackson literally started choking him, and then he stopped and looked down. So, it's like... I mean... I don't know. He's been getting sus and sus every week, but hey... People still watch Raw every week and then come back to it. So, abusive relationship, I guess. At least this one, you get some pleasure out of it. But anyway, guys, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Quick little potty break. BRB.
All right, we back. Lucha Bros, Trixie Kian, Saddam Yadam, meet us in the ring. These guys always have the best mass, I swear. Especially Pentagon. Here's a Pentagon's Spanish translator. How do you guys feel about the Spanish translator? I'm still, I'm still like kind of indifferent on it. I get Ricardo Rodrigo, uh, Rodriguez uh, vibes from him, except he's a better presenter than Ricardo Rodriguez was. Baker Moody, what's up, man? What's up, Baker Moody? Anyone know what jersey Phoenix was wearing? Yeah, no, I wasn't paying attention. Not to the jersey, at least. Mega! I was not prepared, so I didn't really give a lot. I didn't give my all. 119 days as AEW World Champion. And it feels that... Don Callis with the triple A uh, Mega Cumple on Championship, one of the whatever the name of the championship is, and AEW Championship. People love the idea of belt collector Kenny Omega, like, but then it's like, okay, if we get belt collector Kenny, then he's gonna be less in AEW and have less storylines, which we've been getting so far, and he's only holding two titles. It was a long setup for that dive. Penta said like three words and Alex translated into three paragraphs. Pretty much. <clears throat> That's what it seemed like at least. Super kick! Dos! Tres! Super kick! Wait up! Oh. Super! Oh! Where okay, caught him. Miss, wait! Super kick! The Young Bucks are shaking right now. I can, I can feel it. I can feel them seething. So this is my final time watching AEW. I will come back when it is time for Double Nothing 2021. Hey, man. All the power to you, man. All the power to you. Hopefully you find some wrestling that really catches your eye. Double dives. And a moonsault. Diving all over the place. you love to see it. The Triple A on Coupe Leonio's championship. Yes, the uh, the Triple uh, A birthday championship. <laughs> I want Kenny to drop the title at All Out Full Gear because it's about the title rate. Well, I mean, that's later in the year, bro. That's way later in the year, especially uh, Full Gear. That's November. You don't need to be champion for a whole year. I don't want to go that far. I don't want to go that far. I mean, All Out might be an appropriate place to drop it, I guess, because after Double or Nothing is All Out. So, Musa. One, two, kick out. Ray love that Penta is speaking Spanish. I don't have a problem with it. It's a translator that it's a translator that came out of nowhere. They're just like, huh? I don't even dislike him. It's just like he he just came into picture one week and then we've been getting him ever since. That's my only confusing thing about the whole thing. The NWA title will look nice on Kenny. Yeah, we definitely don't need the NWA title on Kenny. The 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 idea of Kenny Omega being a Thanos of wrestling is a great idea on paper, but I feel like in an action, it won't be as good as everyone thinks it will be. No, I love AEW. I'm coming back because I got boxing training this April. I am coming back this double or nothing. I get you, bro. I get you. AEW has been boring ever since the Good Brothers showed up. Well, yeah, I can I can say this much: the Good Brothers have not been very entertaining on Dynamite. They literally come in to be bodyguards for Kenny Omega. Nothing special about them whatsoever. That's how I feel about them in general. I wouldn't even just say with Kenny. When they were with AJ, they were, I felt the same way. When they were with Finn, I felt the same way. Even really so in the Bullet Club. OG Bullet Club feel the same way. They're really just bodyguards. Not so much Carl Anderson, because Carl Anderson really could go far. Doc Gow is not so much.
He's on being elite every week, really. Okay, I met Phoenix in person, and I know that he can speak pretty good English, so I... So why do Lucha Bros have a translator? Well, it's not a translator for Phoenix, it's a, it's a translator for Pentagon. Pentagon's the one who has a translator, not Phoenix. Alright, we got uh, Kenny and Lardo Kid in the ring now. Sorry if I'm not talking. I was eating my uh, protein bar. I think that was last week when we had the uh, Lucha Bros lay out Kenny Omega. So, do you guys suspect that maybe Laredo Kid will get a victory over Kenny Omega? Nah, probably not. It's probably gonna be Kenny Omega pinning Laredo Kid for all I know. Penta speaks English well, but his accent is thick. Thick with two C's? No, let me stop. Let me stop. Panda's trying to get the tag, though. I see that much. Big boot. Big boot. So later on the show, we have the women's tag match, which will likely be the co-main event. Yeah, what's going on with NXT real quick? Let's see what's going on NXT real quick. What do they got going on right now? Kenny Omega needs to stay undefeated until he lost the Heyman Page. Why does he need to be undefeated until he loses the Heyman Page? He could lose now and then get another championship match. Is anyone else getting strong hints of Austin Aries with the flirts of belt collector Kenny? Austin Aries is a standalone guy, though. He didn't really need a faction or a manager to carry with him. Kenny has, like, all this stuff in the background to complement his character. Austin did it, some of it by himself, I should say. It's Adam Cole segment. They're really building up this Adam Cole Kyle O'Reilly match. I really hope it steals the show. Is it the main event of the show? Should be. I don't know what show is going to main event because both nights really have championship matches. Both both nights have like important matches. I'm actually really intrigued by this promo package. By the way, it's shot. Oh boy. Damn, 2009. So doesn't that make Kenny weaker in comparison because he needed a faction to get his belt? It does. It does make him look weaker in comparison. The league act like they put over talent, but they don't because they have the best records in all and win all the championships. Well, no one's denying that one. That's for sure. I was there. I remember that moment when they debuted at TakeOver Brooklyn 3. The Bell Collector gimmick has been used by many people over many years. Yeah, of course, of course. Kid Omega is not the innovator. He's not the creator of the gimmick. Nor is Austin Aries. Ultimate Dragon is the one who really was like, you know, killing the game back in like the 90s. All the championships that man was holding. Hmm. Yeah, Kyle O'Reilly was starting to turn babyface, and Adam Cole didn't like that, basically. It's the feud. The feud is basically, your turn babyface, and I didn't like that. See, this feels like the promo that should be for their match next week. But I guess they wanted to get out of the way now, so that way they don't take up too much TV time. 
My chair. Jesus Christ. Hold on, let me, uh... There we go. The belt collector gimmick is overrated. Well, I mean, it's not done in very many times. But I guess you could say it's overrated in some way. Austin Aries was the most recent belt collector gimmick, and he did it very well. I thought Austin Aries did a damn good job. I still remember I went to a house show when Austin Aries was on one, and he had, like, five or six championships at a time with him. Yeah, like somebody holding one of the championships because he couldn't hold all six of them down to the ring. Exactly. Uh huh. Tell you what, this is definitely making me excited for uh, NXT Takeover Stand and Deliver. I know one of their shows is on Thursday. If this is on Thursday, I'm excited for it. Now it's obvious that the situation between the two of you has got out of control as we explain. The problem I have with Kenny Omega, he needs to learn. Some more mic work, and he needs to change his wrestling styles because he's a heel now. Well, the wrestling style doesn't need to change up too, too much because you don't want him to lose what made him him. But I do agree, the mic work needs to. I think he's capable of being a good promo. I've seen glimpses of it before. He's just so over the top and goofy that. Ah, uh, so Adam Cole is jealous of his girlfriend having such a great match that he's going to do his own signature match. I get it. I get it. Good match so far. I'm out of two matches in a match in a second. I want to see the rest of the segment out, though. Adam Cole. See, this promo makes you think that they've been feuding for like 18 years or something. She literally started like maybe three months ago. Two, three months ago. I mean, it's a fucking phenomenal promo, though. Unsanctioned. Cole versus O'Reilly. Thursday on Peacock. Oh, boy. Thursday on Peacock. I don't even have Peacock yet. I guess I'll have to subscribe to Peacock just to watch that match. That promo got me hyped for it. We'll say that much. They did a good job. Let's tune back to TNT now. Yeah, no, the, the Doc Gallows and Carl Anderson weren't engaging me enough to care, so I kind of tuned out for a hot second. Yeah, this is awesome, Chant, so obviously I missed something awesome. That kick, yeah, I missed that kick. Got Loretto kick, Kenny Omega. If you count our weights, then they have been feuding for years. Very true. But we don't. We only count the NXT stuff. Oh, Loretto, okay, he's moving around like, damn, smooth and fluid. Oh, Pop, I'm caught him. V trigger. One, two. That was so smooth, though. Can't even set up for the one winged angel. I can feel it. I can feel it. Here we go. One winged angel. Wait, run up, run a counter. Suicide. Oh my god, torpedo suicide dive. I'm down to see Adrande versus Kenny. That's gonna do Adrande and Kenny would kick so much ass. Oh my god. I'm down for that any day of the week. Going for another dive. Triangle Senton. Kenny back into the ring. Loretto Kid falls behind him. Okay, wait, V trigger. No, blocked it. It's a Gary. Come on, kid. Come on, kid. Woo! Shit, that kick to the face from Phoenix. Oh my god. That driver. One, two. 
Oh, he's dropping directly on his damn neck. Why does Kenny need to fight this long? He's a champion. He shouldn't be this competitive. Hmm. I Me, mean, he's as long as he wins, I guess. Top rope, Muso. Oh, of course, from sense I missed it. V trigger, V trigger. God damn. <clears throat> Can he get him up? One winged angel. One, two, it's over. Killed him with that driver. Well, he still survived somehow. I don't like questioning everything, yeah. In, the, in all elite members, which members they can't cut a promo... Wait, what? Who's this? Oh, it's Don Callis. I'm like, who the hell's running out here? Question is, will the Young Bucks come out? Try to ruin things? Who's challenging Kenny next? Moxley's out here? The feud's not over? The feud's not over? Like what? I thought the I, I thought the uh ah. Uh. The young bucks. The young bucks and Moxley. What? Hmm. This is interesting. The Young Bucks just ran off Kenny Omega and the Good Brothers with John Moxley. Never thought I'd see today that Moxley is teaming with the Young Bucks. This is so abnormal to me. My brain is trying to commute Moxley is teaming with the Young Bucks. It was... Uh, Logic would say it's six man tag team match coming soon between those two teams, but Moxley and the Young Bucks? I don't think I've even seen John Moxley do super kick before. Like Moxley and the Young Bucks together as a team. Hmm. Yes, John Cena is once again on AEW Dynamite. Always a pleasure to see him. I'd like to see him in the ring personally, but that's me. That's me. You know, I always wanted to go and wipe out when I was younger. One of these days I'll go and wipe out just because. And all the elite members who can cut a promo, who has the best in matches and who is better in ring. Like, they go hand in hand. Who can cut a promo, who has the best matches, and who is better in ring. Of the elite? Of the former elite? Because they're disbanded now, at least. Kenny has the best matches. I think all of them really suck on promos. Who's the best in the ring? I don't know. Probably Kenny. Throw in him and Paige and I'll probably give you the same exact results. Hmm. No, I would say that... I would say Hangman cuts a better promo than the Young Bucks. So I'll probably give it to Hangman at that point. They broke Kingston's leg. Mox wants revenge. Yeah, I understand Moxie wants revenge. But the feud is over. Are you counting Cody? Cody was never part of the elite. Like, Cody... It's weird because, it's like, Cody associates with the elite. But, like, have you ever seen him team up with them? Like, ever? Like, they... The elite and Cody Rhodes never team up. He associates with them, but, like, they never team up with each other. So, I wouldn't even count Cody, honestly. I wouldn't. So, taking some more agua here. Well, yeah, Ring of Honor. If Dynamite keeps staying this bad, I'm going to consider watching NXT. AEW starting to slip. Well, yeah, this isn't a very strong Dynamite. I'll say that much. That's why it's, it's why I turned on NXT twice already. 
Dynamite's going to have its weeks. And guess what? Starting in two weeks, when Dynamite's only on Wednesday, you're going to have one option. Either watch Dynamite or turn it off. So, no more luxury of switching between channels. Now you got to choose. Watch Dynamite or not watch Dynamite. NXT on Tuesday. That's going to be really interesting, too. I don't know if I'm going to watch NXT on Tuesday or not. It really depends on what they, what direction they take NXT in. What storylines are they doing to get me to watch NXT every single Tuesday, you know? The booking confuses me today. Yeah, I don't understand it. I assume the road to double or nothing will be better. I, I hope so. I would, I like to think that starts next week because next week is April, so... Britt Baker? It's Britt Baker! Okay, just Ladies and gentlemen, here we are with Dr. Britt Baker, DMD. AEW has a brand new show, Elevation. Doctor, why don't you tell us about exactly. it? Exactly. Absolutely. Elevation is where you will see stars like myself Monday nights on YouTube elevating the stars of the future. And I love that they're actually promoting Dark Elevation because it makes me want to watch Dark Elevation. Rose's name on the list, and this is wonderful. It's an excellent platform. Elevation plug base. It was the second one of the night. The biggest win of her career, past, present, and future, the lights out main event. Uh huh. Wasn't sanctioned, so it didn't count. It's like it didn't even happen. Didn't even happen. <laughs> but that's okay. The legend, Dr. Britt Baker, will be here, continuing to put AEW. Oh, yeah, David, they even think about that. Unsanctioned doesn't show up in the record books. And Every time she does a DMD, I hear E. Lie Drake. I think of uh, I think of WMD, Big Show's finisher. Whenever I hear DMD, Nyla Rose and the Bunny teaming up together for this match. What's the main event again? Wait, so Nyla Rose is with Big Money Matt, or is? Big Money Matt just out here with, you know, the bunny. Yeah, because she's not very good. I would exclude her ass, too. Just saying. Just saying, I would have excluded her, too, Matt. Yeah, we got she didn't come to y'all here. Oh, in a dark order. Yeah, join the dark order. Yeah, have all these guys coming out with these women. I just hope it doesn't break down. Britt Baker is money. Always has been money, bro. Always has been. Now, Tay Conti got the win over Nyla Rose last week. I have to believe that they actually want to give Tay Conti more momentum. She would pin, like, the bunny this week. And then that's how you build up to her versus uh, Hikaru Shida, like, next week or something. Tyler, you think NJ was bad, but like this, you crazy. Huh? What are you talking about? NJ Wiz? I don't know who that is. No, the bunny. Yeah, no, not not bad bunny. Just the bunny. It's Allie the bunny. The worst bunny. No, I haven't seen bad bunny wrestle yet, so I don't know. She, he may actually be better than, you know, Allie, but... From what I've seen of Allie over the last few years... Oh, I think New Japan is bad, but I like this. You're crazy. Different strokes for different folks, man. I didn't say I like everything AEW does. Never said that. 
We got Sheeta and we got the bunny in the ring. If anybody could get Allie to like her best match, it might be Sheeta. Or throw it on a Rio. Rio will give her a good match. New Japan Pro Wrestling is an A1, but it's not horrible. Oh, it is it is an A1, but it's not horrible either. Very true. I guess Nyla Rose is with uh, Big Money Matt. And Dark Order should stop being a bunch of bitches and just beat up Nyla Rose. They know they want to. Just saying, they know they want to. Picture and picture. <sighs> Uh, picture and picture, picture and picture, picture and picture. Let's let you go over to USA again. See what's going on over there. They're on, they're on commercial break too. How you like this over NJPW? Serious question. I mean, I just told you, different strokes for different folks, man. I mean, firstly, I don't think your question is actually very specific. Because you're saying, how do I like this over NJPW? What is this? The match, the company, the segment, the few. Like, what exactly are you saying I like over New Japan Pro Wrestling? Exactly. Yes, Major Tom. Pitcher in pitcher. You forgot restaurant quality, too. Can't forget about that. It's always restaurant quality. Now we got Nyla Rose and Sheeta in the ring. I think I barely ever want to see in my life again. It's still sad to think Anna Jay's going to be out for like a long period of time. The company overall. I enjoy that because I just like Dynamite's way of story. Dynamite is easier to follow, man. Everything I look for in pro wrestling in North America, Dynamite has. Especially because I don't watch WWE. You know, uh, Japanese wrestling is cool and all. But it only go but so far because I don't understand... Japanese. I don't understand the dialect. I understand the culture to an extent. But in North America, I understand all the culture, all the dialect, all the promos, all the stories are being told. And I don't watch WWE. AEW is the best thing going out there right now. So yeah, I like Dominic more. Really don't know what else you want me to say about that. You think Kenny Mega will get cheered or booed with crowds? Kenny will probably get booed. It'll be pretty split. Because you're always going to have those fans that cheer the heels and boo the baby faces. So I don't think Kenny would get completely booed, but he would definitely get booed. People are going to slander the fuck out of Sheeta when she loses the title. I'm going to hate it. People already slander her now. Why would they slander her after she lost the title? They should be happy she lost the title. Like, yes, new woman getting pushed. I don't know. I don't, I don't really be... I don't be seeing a lot of Sheeta slander, so... Oh, wait, Nyla... All right, now I'll be back for commercial break. We are back in this tremendous tag team contest. I would say that AEW is less predictable than New Japan for wrestling. Less predictable does not mean good. Don't get it twisted, brother. Predictable does not mean bad. Predictable means we just saw it coming. Jade should be the one to beat Cheetah. Tyler is still a startup fan. Yes, I am. Tried and true. Even though they get on my nerves sometimes. With the booking of Julia and the booking of Momo. Yeah, I'm still a startup fan. Yakuza. You tell him, Tay. You tell him, Tay. You going to the AW House show next Friday? I am likely not. Because Joey Jen on Spring Break is happening at the same time. And I am choosing to go to Spring Break. So, likely not. Likely not. Wait, tell you, wait. Do you know throw the outside? What's she doing? My Hardy, wait. Oh! Spinning sidewalk backbreaker. Yeah, Tay, slap him. Slap him. Wait, Alan Angels, wait! They're all going at each other now. All because of Alan Angels. Wait, dive, no. Tuck under. Backslide. 
Pluto's Peak? Oh, neat. That's over. It's over. One, two. Oh, now it breaks it up. Oh, she with a running knee. Going for a dive on Anila. Cross by way. Dog quarter catches her. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Wait, Tate. Top rope. Cross body. Everybody goes down. Everybody down. Everybody down. I'm coming around. Coming around. Coming around. The main event for the house show is Cody versus Ethan Page, so I don't blame you. Kendo stick. She's got a kendo stick. Come on, Aubrey. You didn't hear that? Aubrey, you seriously didn't hear that? Final cut. One, two. The buddy gets the win. I guess if they want to try doing something with Allie, this is the way to do it. Personally, would not have done that. Rules would have been vice versa. I would have been actually pretty satisfied. But, hey. We'll take it. We'll take what we can get. Yeah, bro. Don't be mad that the house streaming event is really good. Be happy for the people who get to catch it live. Because you know at some point the show's going up on air. Maybe not right away, but at some point it's going up on air. Maybe on DVR. Maybe on, um... Not DVR. You know what I mean. John Moxley and the Young Bucks versus Kenny Omega and the Good Brothers. That is next week. It's going to be a good one. The Bunny versus Tay Conti. Ooh, ooh. Darby Allen versus JD Drake. I guess. I guess. I don't even know what JD Drake's all about. The Inner Circle return next week. I can't wait for that segment. That's going to be fun. Exactly. Jurassic Express versus Bear Country. One will fall. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Kong versus Godzilla. Yeah, mammals. Mm -hmm. I mean, it should be a good match, though. And you know what? In honor of the new Godzilla movie versus Kong, Kong? Yes, yes, Godzilla versus Kong. How about next week? Look at them plugging the movie. Show you who's on top of the food chain. Hey, what? What is it? What is that? What? Is that Kong? Is that real? Yeah, it's. It's fine. It's just like. What are the he got a tattoo. Ooh, Marco Stunt's been cheat. Marco Stunt's been sliding around. Marco Stud is really a faction home, man. You hate to see it. One will fall. Who's going to win? Duras Express or Bear Country? All right, y'all. Time for the main event. Arcade Anarchy. All right, so we got, we got basically a whole, whole little setup at ringside. I'm the best. I'm the best man. Yo, Miro's looking ripped, man. Okay, props. I like the props for the. Yeah, I like the props for the mats too. The setting is cool. We'll see how the mats goes, though. I'm not. I'm really not big on the mats itself. I agree with you, DNA LG. Not big on it. I so hope Miro beats the cap crap out of Kip. Yeah, I'm hoping they lose and then Miro turns on him. And then that's the end of their little alliance. I'm ready for Miro to be doing his own thing. Commercial break. Let's do a quick little switch over to USA. See what's going on over there. Look at the car for NXT TakeOver. Night 2, we have Johnny Organo versus Blank for the North American Championship. And 
in the Finn Balor versus Karrion Cross for the NXT Championship on night two. Guys, remember we'll be previewing NXT TakeOver Stand and Deliver as well as a preview for WrestleMania on next week's episode of the Chill Spill Podcast. Oh, so night two is actually going to have Kyle O'Reilly versus Adam Cole in a co main event. Interesting. It's a great looking card, man. I'm excited. Hype. Did you ever watch Shark Tank? Have I ever seen Shark Tank? Yes, I've seen Shark Tank before. When Tetsu Naito get the new IWGP World Heavyweight Championship, I think he's going to break it, coming out with a new title. I don't, I don't think it's going to happen. But it is absolutely fun to fantasy book and plan. I don't think it's going to happen though. I don't even know if uh, Naito's ever getting the championship back. Man lost it, but you know, New Japan don't like Naito like that. <sighs> Man, y'all ready for the main event? About to come back from break very soon. Very soon, at least. A little circle. Give me some agua. Not gonna lie, you boys. A little tired. A little tired. Had a long day today, so... At point in times, I seem like I may have not been reading the chat. Your boy a little tired. But, night till most silver will give me a good night's sleep. Luckily, because there's no news for happening for me to wake up to. Or really. I don't watch NXT, but I'm interested in that pay-per-view. Dude, the pay-per-view lineup is great, man. Considering the last takeover is still, in my opinion, one of the best shows NXT's put on in a very long time. I'm certain they'll put on a great show both both nights. Logan Paul is going to be on SmackDown this week and expected to be involved with Zayn versus Owens at WrestleMania. I heard. I spoke about it on the Chill Spill podcast. You can listen to it. I literally spoke on Logan Paul in exactly the same scenario you're talking about right now. Wait, hold on. What's... What is this? Ah, new theme song. If I I feel like I'm listening to some um some 1990s 1980s like rock song. Like one of those slow rock songs. Here we go. We're going straight at each other. All right, guys, buy or sell? Kip and tights or Kip and trunks? Kip and tight, Kip Sabian and tights or Kip Sabian and trunks? Not gonna lie, I'm vibing the trunks. I mean, I'm vibing the tights. I'm vibing the tights. Bro, Tyler Miro need Lana at his side and become Rusev again and become a monster. I don't think he really needs Lana by his side per se, but he could definitely become a monster again. I would definitely buy into it. Major Tom 331 says trunks. Well, oh, step right into the whack a mole. Oh boy. Oh, right through the whack a mole thing. Oh, and he's gonna whack. Oh, he's gonna whack my man, Kip Sabian, the simp. The simp himself. Oh, Miro takes him down. So, I, I, I'm trying to think back on how this show's been and how many times I've tuned out of this show. This has definitely not been a very stellar episode of Dynamite. So, hopefully this main event is going to... Um, you know, uplift how I feel about the show overall. TK flexing right now. Me or Tony Khan? Because when you say TK, it could be two people. Low key filler. Yeah, it's one of those weeks where it's like, yeah, we got dynamite happening this week. It's one of those weeks where I feel like I could have benefited from doing a uh, Wednesday Night War. 
Which, you know, it's like, I, I probably should have done one. It would have been my last one to do. Because I'm probably not doing one next week because I would want to watch TakeOver, like, on my own time. But, you know. Wait, or it's Cassidy. Chuck Taylor, they got Rusev. I mean, Rusev. Miro. Suplex onto the guardrail. Damn, taking Arts Cassie out of the equation. Suplex and Chuck onto the guardrail. Dama hasn't been solid for at least four weeks. Oh, and bro, let's not do that. Dynamite was literally like solid two weeks ago. It's just been on and off for the last month. I'll put it that way. It's been on and off for the last month. Can't act like that St. Patrick's Day Slam show wasn't good because it was. Especially that main event. That main event was amazing. Uh oh. Miro's got a chair. Instead of potty where I know, I know, please. I said a very dirty word there. Never again. Never again. Oh, he's setting up a chair in the corner. Someone's head's going through it. I think it's going to be Miro's. And they're going to run ruts in between these shows. Way up. It's Cassidy not trying to go through it. Forcing his head away. Oh! Sending his head right into the steel chair anyway. So Miro sends Orange Cassidy into the steel chair. I almost thought it was going to be the other way around. Now I'll question is where is Kip and um, Homie at? Where's Kip and Chuck Taylor? I forgot his name for a second. Oh, I just spoke. Here he is. Right at the top of the Mortal Kombat arcade um, machine. Mortal Kombat movie dropping very soon. How many weeks? Think about like what two? Yeah, two weeks. Trash can lid, yes! My favorite weapon. Woo! There's that sound I love so much. Kendo stick. Kendo stick to the back of Miro. Oh, yes, I love it. Kendo stick, trash can lid. Exactly. Get him out of here. Neutralizing the best man. I love it. Miro no selling? No, Miro selling. God damn. That running shot. He took that page out of the Shane McMahon playbook there. You remember back when Shane McMahon used to do those leaping chair shots? He would run at you, jump into the air, and then... He used to pop for those. Don't ask you why. And the guardrail, too? And the guardrail, too? And the guardrail takes him out. Oh, they're going to trap Miro down. Ugh. Trapping Miro down. Putting the whack-a-mole on top of everything. Well, but it's down to Kip Sabian and the rest of them. Wait, pay one! Two! I'm about to say, imagine if you would have won the match like that. That would have been funny. Kip still going... Drop kick right to the corner. Damn, Mark Cassidy's hand went right through that blue platform. Oh, half Nelson on the outside. Damn, Kip Sabian's running crazy right now. Man's got the shoulder all taped up too. He's not in the best health. Uh, what we talking about in the chat right now? How are you guys feeling about this match so far? He's got a teddy bear. 
What's a teddy bear semblance? What is a semblance of the teddy bear in the ring? Is there some deep rooted story that I'm missing? There's a deep rooted story I'm missing here with the teddy bears. Oh, he's dumping the Legos in the ring? Oh my god. Oh my god. We talk about thumbtacks. These Legos are going to be the death of whoever goes into them. This match is okay, but it would have been better if I cared. I understand that. Superplex. Onto the Legos? Yeah, no, you ain't suplex my man onto the Legos. He ain't about to do that. He ain't about to do all that. Kick to the head. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, power bomb. No. Sit out, power bomb. Onto the Legos. One. Two. Orange Cassidy breaks it up. It was almost a done dizzy right there. Kip and Arts Cassie going at it. DDT. Oh! Flip right on top of the Legos. Air Raid Siren. Air Raid Siren. Oh, I like that little spin he did. One. Two. Kip Sabian kicks out. Woo! Orange Crutch. Wait, Penna. Ah, oh, damn it, Penelope. Is anyone bleeding? I'm shocked no one has bled yet. Orange Cassie outside the ring. Oh, boy. Orange Cassie. Oh, Penelope with the low blow. She's taking her belt off? Oh, shit. Oh shit! See about the. Wait! Oh my god! Wait! It's uh oh! It's um 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 uh, fuck! Her name? Uh, what's her name? Um uh, fuck! Up! Uh, uh, Chris Statlander! It's Chris Statlander! Yes, he's back! Let's go! Finally! Finally! She's been gone for so long! Thank God! Oh shit! Wait up! Uh. Oh! Here we go. That woke me up, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I was kind of like. But yes, Chris Statlander is back. Happy to see it. With the Oscar hair. Yeah, I mean. Imagine she injures her. I mean, let's not, let's not go there, bro. Let's, let's not bring that up on us. Oh, my God. He just threw Orange Cassidy. Dude. Chris Statlander coming to the Ada Orange Cassidy just warmed my heart because of all the being the elite segments I've seen of them. But I'm glad she's back. Chair, oh, right to the back of Orange Cassidy. I'm glad Chris Statlander's back. Now, I feel like the spot could have been better placed somewhere else because it really didn't play into much. Because now Miro's still kicking her ass. I love this match now. We're going to get more Chris Statlander. Miro's going out to both men like it's nothing. Just because of Chris. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude. I think everybody woke up from, from that match with Chris Statlander, honestly. Chris Statlander needs to stop playing around and just put Miro through that table. Seeing the animosity of, of Miro right now is just like, damn, bro, this dude really can do so much. Chuck and Orange Cassie are crawling away. <clears throat> Wait, is that Trent's mom? Is that Trent's mom? I saw, I saw, I saw a car in the background. It's the van. It's Trent's mom. Yeah. It's Sue. Yes, Trent's mom! And it's Trent! Trent's back too! Yeah! Yeah! Let's go, Trent! Let's go, Trent! There we go. Now this match is getting some life into it. Finally. There we go. 
Now we got the best friends back in action. Get Chris Stanlander back in here. Damn, beating Miro down the whole circle. A triangle. A triangle of death. A triangle of friendship, I should say. Kick to the head. And Miro still find both all three men off by himself. There we go. There we go. Chris Stanlander, spear him. Spear him through the table. Now I'm into this Matt Statlander and Trent's back. Yes, three on two babyface advantage. Oh, Miro's waving to Sue. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He's going after Sue. Run him over. Run him over. What the hell is it? What the <laughs> See, he's about to climb on top of the car. You could just went around the corner and just grabbed out of the car. Okay. There we go, Trent. Don't let him come close to your mom. Yeah, three on two babyface advantage? I mean, it's working. Three on one, because I haven't seen Kip in like the last, like what? Five, six minutes? You got two minutes left. We're near the end of the show. Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat! Name he's lifting up the arcade system. It's going to throw it right onto Trent. Damn. Trent's got a chair. Damn, right to the head. Like he cracked him in the ear. I think his ear might start bleeding. Like he cracked him right in the ear. Spear right through the table. And there's Simp Sabian at the top of the ramp. Wait, no. Chuck Taylor. Oh, right through. Right through a stage ramp. One, two. And they get the pin over Kip Sabian. Chris should have speared him. Yeah, I know. I was actually hoping Kip, Chris would spear him. But Trent's back. Chris Statlander's back. Yeah, now go help Chris Statlander up. And give us a four-way hug that I can doubt this show. I just threw a something. Yeah, threw a something. I'm like, what, was that a stage table? Yes, the hug. Where's Chris Statlander? Include her in the hug. There's Statlander. Yeah, four way hug. Yeah, yeah four way hug. Yeah. And yeah, Sue gives a thumbs up. Oh, it's always a good. Oh, see that. That's a nice end to the show. It's one of those. It feels like such a such a cheesy '90s way to end the show. Like one of those cheesy nine, like end of like I don't know. Honestly, it seems like that cheesy end to a show, but I liked it. <laughs> I liked it. It ended out strong. Now overall, the episode was the the, the dynamite was just kind of eh. But it was a nice way to end out the show. Another faction, LOL. I mean, to be fair, the best friends were like one of the first factions in AEW. So let's not let's not say another faction. They were already established. Say another faction when it comes to like the new faction we saw earlier at night. That's another faction. The best friends, they've been together for a minute. So I, I, I'm not even going to throw them in there. I hope the feud, yes, this is the end of the feud. I surely hope it is the end of the feud at least. Chris Statlander's back, so that's going to be something good for the women's division. Hopefully, we'll get her back in the mix for the AW Women's Championship picture very soon. Maybe not right away, but, you know, in due time. In due time. Two and a half out of five. Oh, I'll rate this show probably like a solid... Probably solid five. Five and a half. I'll go... I'll go five and a half for the ending, but the show overall was a five. 
I thought the show was okay, but ended strong. Yeah, strong end to the show. But, like, the show overall was just... Uh, if I... If you missed the show, you ain't missed anything. My favorite TV match from AEW is the dog collar match with Cody versus Brody Lee. That's my second favorite. My first favorite is definitely um, Pac versus Katie Omega from last, from last February when they had their Iron Man match. Matches from best to worst? Well, I can't remember every single match because the show wasn't eventful enough to remember every single match. But what I can tell you is that most of the matches on here, you ain't gonna remember in like T minus 10 minutes. You remember the you remember the main event for the most... Here's the thing I'll give about the best friends. They tend to always have like the best moments. Like the best friends always have like the most heartwarming kumbaya moments. And it's it's always like feel good and nice and everything. So that's always a nice way to nut to show. But outside of that, it's like... You know what I mean? Could have, could have, could have possibly uh, tuned into NXT a few times and kept NXT on for this week. But what I will say is that next week we'll be live again on Wednesday. That will be our AEW Dynamite live stream. We will not be live for NXT Takeover Stand and Deliver. Actually, you know what? Put it to you guys. Die on my next week or stand and deliver. We'll do a we'll do a community page post. And whichever one wins, we'll do a live stream for next week. We could do one for either AEW. Or this might be my first time ever doing a strictly NXT takeover uh live stream. So we'll do a we'll do a poll on a community page. Go to the Tyler Quimps channel right after the stream's over. It will be going up and go vote for it. Uh but that will be the stream next Wednesday. Thursday, I don't plan on doing a stream because i have to work that day but there will be a review up for takeover night two likely uh friday maybe i'm on vacation so maybe maybe but guys i'm gonna head up out of here thank you all for coming through to the stream you guys are all awesome thank you all so much you guys are great as always we will be back next wednesday and by that by next wednesday we should have memberships officially ready to go by next Wednesday. Hopefully. That's the plan right now. So, keep your eye out for that. Keep your eye out for the poll. And keep your eye out for all the content coming to this channel very, very soon. That being said, guys, love you as always. See you all next Wednesday. Peace.